Hey, Vix and Parlay family, it's me, Detroit Lenny, here with a little preview for Sunday. We're going to do a rapid fire style, a little Sunday tournament action for college basketball, the round of 32. We're going to do this in order of Tim Earl from Earl Sports Bet, Sean Higgs, Mr. Winning Free Picks himself, Midday Money, uh, and then Cam Ross, the TikTok sensation. So we're going to go boom, 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 right down the row. And we're going to kick ass, take names, ask questions later. All right, let's get this started here. Mr. Tim Earl is going to talk about Clemson Tigers and the Baylor Bears. Baylor minus four and a half. Total sits at 145 and a half. Everybody's going to give you a side and a total. Tim's got a side on this game. Tim, what are you looking at? Let's just start off by going out with Clemson. Um, I, ha I know I had them last game against uh, New Mexico. They went out. Everybody loved New Mexico. And Clemson won by, what, 20? Uh, I think they are one of the teams that coming into the tournament I was very high on. I had them going to my Elite Eight, and I have a ticket from the Reese's Sweet 16. Just very high on this Clemson team throughout the tournament. Uh, Baylor, they had a good year, but I do think that they're a little bit overrated for their ranking. Uh, I'm going to be going taking Clemson. At least this is going to be a one-possession game. We'll grab them plus the four-and-a-half here. There you go. I like it. One possession game. Take the points here. Now we're going to move right along here. Remember, rapid fire. Bam, bam, boom, pow. Under 10 minutes, we're going to try to do this. We're going to bring in Mr. Sean Higgs. Talk Utah State and the Aggies taking on Purdue and the Boilermakers. Or, or should I say Purdue and Zach Eady. Uh, Eady's minus 10 and a half. The total is 148 and a half. Mr. Higgs, where are you going with this one? You know, as... Tim was just mentioning here about how he was high in Clemson and the ACC taking care of business. Well, I, I'm on the opposite side of that. I was New Mexico. I thought the Mountain West was really good. Me too. And and what have we seen? Yeah, not so much. I did have Utah State the other night. Um, I'm going to take Purdue here. I'll lay the big number because this is not where Purdue is going to run into a problem. Mountain West has kind of shown their uh, little colors. They got they got two out of three wins the other day with San Diego State. But this spot here, this is a Purdue spot. They'll take care of a – uh, lesser opponent, as, as good as I think Utah State's kind of a tough squad. Not here. Purdue problem is next round. That is where the noose tightens around their neck in a close one. Uh, but here, Purdue gets it done. Okay. Yeah, I was I, I was on New Mexico as well. I thought the Mountain West was a little bit uh, more mountain than West. Uh, but they're out the door. I don't know. That made <laughs> sense in my head. Uh, <laughs> let's keep it moving. Colorado it Buffaloes. Go you get ahead. it. The mountain's a little rugged and the coast yeah. uh, is is west here it's it some made water. sense right see we're just higgs this is why you get me colorado buffalo is taking on marquette and the golden eagles uh golden eagles minus four totals at 147 and a half cam ross has got a side for you tiktok sensation by the way if you haven't followed picks and parlays on tiktok you should cam ross go ahead uh yeah i like marquette here you know the golden eagles they've had a great season they've been a top 10 team for much of the year they're the two seed in the south region um they're Loan loss over the last couple of weeks has been to the number one overall seed, UConn. Um, Marquette rolled in round one. Colorado barely escaped their matchup. But this is also going to be Colorado's third game since Wednesday. You know, the Buffaloes had to play in the first four. Then they got past Boise State, and they barely got past Florida yesterday. I'm going to take Marquette to keep it going and uh, do enough to get the win and cover, as I think the Golden Eagles will wear the Buffaloes down for the full 40 minutes and get it done. Good job there, Cam Ross. Don't forget, guys, you're over at picksandparlays.net. Get yourself a premium package from any one of the three guys I got mentioned right here. Any one of their best bet packages, a 30-day package, a week package, anything like that, use the promo code L-E-N-N-Y. That'll save you 20% off your entire purchase. Now, listen, we're going to go right back to Cam and talk about uh, what well, we talked about that game. We're going to talk about Clemson Tigers Bears. Tim gave us a side on this game. Cam's going to give us a total here. Total sits at 145 and a half. Cam, what do you got for me? I like the under. You know, uh, both teams, they're not crazy offensive teams, but uh, Clemson is a slower, more methodical, physical team. They like to grind it out. They're going to want to slow it down, use their bigs. You know, P.J. Hall inside. Ian Shefflin's a monster inside. Um I think Clemson's going to try to sit sit on this game a little bit, try to slow Baylor down, keep it keep it low scoring, keep themselves in the game. I do like Clemson in this game again, you know, to do enough to cover the numbers. I think they can win, but I'm going to go under. Is uh, I think Clemson's going to try to control the pace to stifle the higher seed. That's fair. This is my favorite game actually on Sunday. Little side note: I like Clemson and the under, but in a teaser. Just for the record, because I think this is a like Tim Earl mentioned a one possession game. You mentioned Baylor trying to slow or Clemson trying to slow Baylor down. I like it in a teaser under kind of situation. That's a side note though. 
Uh, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Sean Higgs, is going to give us a total on Northwestern Wildcats and the Yukon Huskies. Huskies, big favorite. Totals kind of low here, 135 and a half. Higgs, where are you going with this one? Yeah, well, it's kind of low because you see a Northwestern team that's put up 49 points in a game and 60s here and there. I'm going over again with UConn. I, I mean, I thought they were going to score 90-something last game. They got there. We, we didn't get – we were a little short there with the Stetson help, but 135 here? I what Am I missing something here, fellas? I know I know Cam kind of likes this one as, as well when we're talking about it. I UConn is rolling, and I think and, – and I said this the other day – the separation between the good and the bad is just that big. And nobody's playing games. They've seen enough uh, teams getting picked off. Auburn's gone. Kentucky's gone. You see bigger schools losing. Uh, UConn's going to drop an 80 piece here. Are you telling me we're not going to get 60 from Northwestern? I, UConn's got defense. I don't think I don't think this is a 50-point Northwestern team. I think they'll, they'll get to the 60 mark. And if that's the case, this should sail over 135 and a half. Yeah, I agree. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I think if Northwestern gets 60 – I think, like you said, UConn puts up another 90 spot. Pop, if it pop, gets to 60, we're going to see overtime because that means UConn's not – you know, if that's if, right, if, exactly. if they're in it, it, it's an overtime game. So you're going to catch it anyway. Fair enough. Let's talk about this next game here. Uh, Grand Canyon, the Antelopes, taking on the Alabama Crimson Tide. Tide minus 5.5, but Tim Earl's got a total for us, 168.5. Tim Earl, we were on the Alabama first – the first uh, tournament game – over 170, I think, and a half was right around there. What are you thinking with this one? Yeah, it was 173, and uh, I don't see anything different in this game. This is still the number one offense in college basketball in Alabama. They're scoring 90.8 points a game, and there's still 353 in defense. Uh, I, try, I, I had to look long and hard to see which tournament team was close to them. The two tournament teams that were closest to them in defense were Kentucky and UAB. We've seen what they've done so far. So it is kind of leaning towards Grand Canyon as well, but I'm going to grab the over. I could see both teams putting up a ton of points in this one as well. Bama just plays at a high pace, and uh, we're, we're going to grab this one over as well. There you go, over 168.5. It's Al Alabama runs. I mean, they just run up and down the damn court. And if they're getting their shots hit in, this is going to fly over as, as well. We're going to give you a quick little rundown real quick. Don't forget about the promo code L-E-N-N-Y. Save yourself 20%. Get yourself a week package, 30-day package, any one of these premium handicappers. You can check our leaderboards at any given time in college basketball and see any one of these three on all of it. Everywhere, probably in the top five in any way, shape, or form. So there you have it right now. Don't let these other guys tell you any differently. <coughs> Great job. Uh, all right, first one, <laughs> Tim Earl likes Clemson Tigers plus the four and a half for a side when they take on Baylor. Sean Higgs like the Boilermakers minus ten and a half. They're going to roll, I think, as well. I, I, I hate to say it. Uh, Cam Ross is uh, side for you guys, the Marquette Golden Eagles. Cam Ross also likes Clemson Baylor under 145 on Sunday. Sean Higgs likes Northwestern UConn over 135 and a half. And Tim Earl likes Grand Canyon, Alabama over 168 and a half. I'm Detroit Lenny Picks and Parlays. Tim Earl, Sean Higgs, Cam Ross, we appreciate each and every one of you stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already. Good luck, unless you're against us. Take care, folks.